We are counting down the 15 most surprising engine oils as exposed by independent lab tests ranging from slick marketing tricks and contaminated imports to budget blends that evaporate and premium synthetics that truly deliver on their claims. Using real test data on wear, volatility, and cold start protection, this ranking reveals which oils protect your engine and which actually put it at risk. So which oil hides the biggest performance gap behind its label? Let us begin at number 15. At number 15, the countdown begins with a warning about so-called full synthetic oils that are not quite what they seem. Many bottles on the shelf claim to be synthetic, but under the hood they are built from Group 3 base stocks, highly refined mineral oils, rather than the engineered molecules found in true synthetics. This labeling loophole opened in 1999 when a landmark advertising decision allowed oil makers to market Group 3 as synthetic provided they met certain purity standards. The catch is that in real-world testing these pseudo-synthetics only edge out conventional oils in the toughest conditions, especially when it comes to holding viscosity under prolonged heat and stress. The word synthetic on the label now reveals almost nothing about the chemistry inside. That is why independent lab numbers, not marketing, are the only way to know what is really protecting your engine. Number 14 on the list is not just about misleading marketing, it is about outright danger. Some unbranded or imported engine oils have been caught with high levels of elemental silicon, a contaminant that acts like liquid sandpaper inside your engine. Lab spectrometry flags silicon above 40 parts per million as a warning sign but in counterfeit or recycled oils levels can spike much higher, grinding away at bearings, rings, and cylinder walls with every revolution. Regulatory testing in West Africa and watchdog labs in North America have uncovered bottles filled with used, dirty oil, filtered, re-bottled, and sold as new. In rare cases, bulk oils stored in open drums overseas have developed microbial growth, turning the oil into sludge that clogs filters and corrodes metal. The risk is real. One bad batch can shorten engine life dramatically. Always verify the source and look for API and OEM approvals before trusting what is in the bottle. Castrol Edge shows a cold start weakness. Castrol Edge claims full synthetic protection, but when temperatures drop, the numbers tell a different story. Independent lab tests using the ASTMD 5293 cold crank simulator test show Castrol Edge 5W30, pushing right up against the maximum allowed viscosity, about 6,600 centipoise at minus 30 degrees Celsius. That is nearly 40% thicker than top performers like Amsoil Signature Series, which flow far more easily in deep cold. This matters because three out of every four instances of engine wear happen in the first minute after a cold start, when oil is slow to reach critical parts. If your oil thickens or gels even slightly, Metal surfaces run dry just long enough to leave permanent scars. The label might promise year-round protection, but in real-world winter mornings, Castrol Edge lags behind the leaders, putting your engine at elevated risk during the moments it needs help most. Amsoil. Max Duty Diesel lands at number 12 for a reason that matters to diesel owners. It is engineered for the unique demands of modern emission systems. Diesel engines equipped with diesel particulate filters and turbochargers face a constant balancing act. Too much sulfated ash, phosphorus and sulfur, and the DPF clogs, choking performance and raising maintenance costs. Too little and you risk poor detergent action and corrosion. Amsoil's chemistry threads that needle, maintaining low sulfated ash, phosphorus and sulfur for DPF life while still controlling high-temperature turbo deposits. That balance matters. In a fleet study, trucks running Amsoil Max Duty Diesel showed about 60% less turbo deposit buildup compared to other oils tested, translating to cleaner spools and more consistent boost. This isn't just about passing a lab test. Field engines stayed cleaner, with fewer turbo failures over time. For diesel drivers, especially those with newer emission systems, this oil's balance can mean the difference between smooth operation and costly downtime. Quaker State's synthetic blend lands at number 11, for a reason that matters to budget-conscious drivers, high volatility. 
In independent NOAC bench tests, this oil lost between 15 and 18 percent of its weight when heated to 250 degrees Celsius, a rate far above what is considered safe for modern engines. That kind of evaporation does not just mean you are topping off more often. As the lightest molecules boil off, what is left behind thickens and forms stubborn deposits on pistons and turbocharger seals. Over time, these deposits can cause sticky rings, higher oil consumption, and even turbo failures in severe cases. For engines with direct injection or turbocharging, high volatility is a recipe for carbon buildup and reduced performance. This is why volatility is not just a lab number, it is a direct link to oil consumption and costly repairs, especially in newer, high-heat engines. Supertech full synthetic often gets dismissed as just another cheap oil, but lab results tell a different story. In side-by-side -side bench and dyno tests, Supertech delivered between 85 and 95% of the wear protection offered by leading premium synthetics, despite costing about half as much per quart. For drivers who stick to manufacturer-recommended intervals and do not push their engines to extremes, this level of protection is more than enough for daily commutes and family road trips. The numbers show that its additive package and base oil blend are dialed in closely to what higher-priced brands use, giving budget-focused do-it-yourselfers a real alternative to paying double for a name label. While it does not top the charts for extreme longevity or turbocharged abuse, Supertech's performance parity means most engines will run smoothly and cleanly for years. For those weighing cost against protection, this oil stands out as a smart, practical choice that punches well above its price tag. Valvoline Max Life High mileage formula earns its spot on the list for a reason that goes beyond the bold claims on the bottle. Marketed as a premium solution for engines past 75,000 miles, it commands a price that often rivals true synthetics. Yet a close look at the product data sheet tells a different story. The so-called high mileage advantage comes down to a small percentage of seal conditioners, typically just 1-2% to 2 of the total additive package blended into a conventional Group 2 base oil. Independent lab analysis shows that wear protection, deposit control, and oxidation resistance barely edge out standard Valvoline conventional, despite the hefty markup. For most drivers, the real difference is minimal. The seal conditioners may help with minor leaks, but they do not transform the underlying chemistry. The numbers reveal that the high mileage label is more about marketing than measurable engine protection. When it comes to real value, ingredient scrutiny matters far more than front label promises. Napa Full Synthetic stands out not just for its price, but for giving drivers a real tool to track engine health. It provides additive reserve monitoring, total base number, abbreviated TBN, tells you how much acid neutralizing power your oil has left. Labs measure total base number by titration, and they plot its decline as miles add up. With conventional oil, total base number can drop by half in just 3,000 miles, which is why short intervals matter for non-synthetic oils. Used oil analysis, often called UOA, goes deeper. It checks not just total base number, but also where metals, fuel dilution, and how well detergents and dispersants are holding up. By sending in a small oil sample, drivers can see exactly when their oil protection is running out, instead of guessing or relying on dashboard reminders. This data-driven approach empowers anyone to set oil change intervals based on real engine conditions, not just generic schedules. For do-it-yourself mechanics and high-mileage drivers, used oil analysis transforms oil changes from a guessing game into a science-backed decision. Chevron Haveline Full Synthetic earns its spot by excelling in a test that goes far beyond simple viscosity numbers, ferrography. Ferrography involves separating wear particles from used oil onto a glass slide, then examining them under a microscope to reveal what is really happening inside the engine. In recent ASTM analyses, Haveline samples showed a predominance of fine, rounded particles, evidence of mild controlled wear rather than the sharp, cutting debris that signals aggressive metal on metal contact. The difference is more than academic. Large, jagged particles can gouge bearings and shorten engine life, while smaller, well-suspended particles are safely carried to the filter and removed. The secret lies in the oil's additive chemistry, 
which not only cushions moving parts, but also keeps debris from clumping or settling where it can do harm. By maintaining a low particle severity index, Haveline demonstrates its ability to prevent damaging buildup and predict future wear, giving drivers an early warning system that is invisible to the naked eye. This level of particle management is a key reason Haveline sits above the middle of the pack in real-world lab rankings. Shell Rotella T6 stands out in the world of heavy-duty oils for its proven defense against bearing corrosion, a threat that quietly destroys engines from the inside out. In the Sequence 8 test, oils are pushed to their limits under acidic conditions that mimic real combustion byproducts, with microscopic scoring on bearings measured after hours of punishment. Rotella T6 meets and surpasses the industry's strict corrosion limits, comfortably clearing the threshold set for both chain elongation and lead corrosion weight loss. This is not just a technical pass, it is a real-world advantage for diesel drivers and anyone running mixed fleets. Since T6's additive package is designed to protect bearings, whether the engine burns gasoline or diesel. Used oil analyses back this up, showing consistently low levels of lead and copper even after long intervals, and a stable total base number that signals healthy acid neutralizing reserves. For drivers who demand lab verified protection, Rotella T6's performance in bearing corrosion testing places it firmly among the top tier oils trusted not only for meeting certification, but for delivering real durability where it matters most. Royal Purple High Performance enters the top five for one simple reason. It holds its ground when others thin out. In the lab, this oil endures repeated high temperature shear cycles designed to mimic the relentless pounding inside modern engines. Picture turbo bearings at full boost or long highway poles at 4,000 revolutions per minute. Where many synthetics rely on heavy doses of viscosity index improvers, polymer chains that puff up the oil at low temperatures but snap under mechanical stress, Royal Purple takes a different approach. Its blend uses fewer of these modifiers, leaning instead on a robust base stock to maintain film strength. After hours of mechanical shearing, lab tests show a minimal drop in viscosity, with film thickness staying well within grade. That means the protective layer between metal parts does not collapse, even as the miles rack up. This kind of shear stability is not just a technical detail, it is what keeps bearing surfaces smooth and cam lobes free from scoring, especially in engines that see hard driving or extended oil change intervals. For drivers who demand consistent protection under real-world abuse, Royal Purple's ability to resist permanent thinning makes it a standout performer among high-end synthetics. Valvoline Advanced. Full Synthetic climbs into the top four by excelling where many oils simply meet the minimum, boundary wear protection and cleanliness. In independent four-ball wear tests, this oil consistently produces a smaller wear scar than most mid-tier synthetics, a direct measure of its ability to keep metal parts from grinding against each other when the oil film thins under stress. But it is not just about wear. The detergent and dispersant package in Valvoline's formula stands out for its strength, helping to hold soot, carbon, and varnish in suspension, so they do not settle and bake onto pistons or rings. High levels of calcium and magnesium detergents support this cleaning action, reducing the risk of sticky rings or sludge that can choke off oil flow over time. This combination of robust wear protection and aggressive deposit control means Valvoline Advanced keeps engines running cleaner, longer, even as miles add up. For drivers who value both mechanical protection and spotless internals, the chemistry here delivers on both fronts, setting the stage for the top three oils that push fuel economy and longevity even further. Pennzoil Ultra Platinum stands out for drivers who want better mileage without giving up real protection. This oil relies on gas to liquid, called GTL, base chemistry, which builds its molecules from natural gas instead of crude oil. The result is a cleaner, more uniform base that reduces internal friction in the engine. In controlled sequence 6, a lab test, Pennzoil Ultra Platinum delivered up to 6% less friction compared to conventional oils. That translates directly to fuel savings at the pump, without thinning the oil or risking metal on metal contact. This performance challenges the old belief that thicker oil always means better protection. Instead, the lab data show that a well-designed 5W30 
can actually lower friction and improve efficiency as long as the chemistry is right. Pennzoil's GTL base oil keeps moving parts separated, so engines run smoother and use less fuel. For drivers focused on both economy and long-term durability, this formula proves you do not have to compromise one for the other. Mobile One Extended performance earns its runner-up spot with proof that goes beyond numbers on a lab report. In teardown after teardown, engines that ran on Mobile One for 200,000 miles or more show what those lab claims actually mean inside the metal. Take the Toyota Camry case. After two decades and over 200,000 miles on Mobile One, the cylinder walls are free of scoring, the pistons are clean, and there is no trace of sludge hiding in the oil pan or under the valve cover. Used oil analyses from these long intervals tell the same story. Iron and copper levels stay low even at 10,000 mile drains. Compare that to another Camry of the same generation fed a diet of bargain oil and stretched intervals. At just 130,000 miles, teardown photos reveal heavy carbon deposits, stuck rings, and thick sludge baked onto every surface. The difference is not just cosmetic, it is the gap between an engine that keeps running strong and one headed for an early rebuild. Mobile One's track record in both the lab and real-world engines proves the value of quality chemistry, especially for drivers who want their cars to last well past the odometer's six-figure mark. AM Soil Signature Series claims the top spot for one reason. No other oil in this ranking withstands heat and oxidation for as long, or as reliably, in the lab. In the Sequence 2EH test, an industry benchmark for high temperature stability, Amsoil Signature Series showed roughly 64% less viscosity increase than the average synthetic, even after 80 hours at 150 degrees Celsius. That means the oil resists thickening and sludge, holding its protective qualities far beyond the standard drain interval. Fleet used oil analyses back up these numbers, with samples pulled after 15,000 miles still showing strong total base number reserves and minimal oxidation byproducts. For drivers who want to stretch oil changes to 10,000 miles or more without gambling on engine wear, this level of oxidation resistance is the key. The chemistry behind it is a blend of PAO-based stocks and robust antioxidant additives, designed to keep oil stable under the relentless heat of modern engines. AM Soil Signature Series does not just pass the industry's toughest tests, it sets the benchmark, delivering the kind of long drain confidence that few competitors can match. When it comes to ultimate protection for extended intervals, the lab data make the verdict clear. Across all 15 entries, one truth stands out. Engine oil quality is a science, not a slogan. Laboratory tests expose how marketing can mask dangerous flaws, while real protection comes from verified specifications and rigorous standards. In today's engines, the real risk is not what is on the label. It is what is hidden inside. Trust the data not the hype. Which oil surprised you most? Let us know in the comments.